mamá. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My god, my hair is crazy looking. So I just got out of Bella's uh checkup appointment. You guys, I was it was so hectic. I had to go get Nathan before 2 30 because if i went to to the doctor's appointment before i got him it was gonna be too late and you know how like i don't know i just didn't want to be late so i had to sign him out of school like i had to do all this stuff bella was crying it was just so freaking i just barely got around to starting the vlog but but she's doing good right now i'm on my way home it's already 4 11 i'm so hungry all right guys i don't know if i've recorded in all day today but i actually just got ready you guys i've been getting ready since like 10 a.m but in between all those all that time i do have to feed bella so um yeah <laughs> i just been having to like stop feed stop feed and i finally am done i just need to put on my lipstick but i think i'm gonna leave everything ready and then when i get back from picking up nathan because it's already two and i don't want to be like doing the video like in a hurry and like I do have to leave from here at least like by 2 30 so i don't want to be in a hurry and plus bella finally fell asleep you guys so i'm gonna let her sleep take her nap because then i don't want her to be grouchy and when we get back from picking up nathan then we can film our video it probably already went up before this one but yeah i mean i'm getting everything ready i'm gonna be filming right here um we do still have these boxes i don't want to put them in the garage um, just because it's a lot of Bella's clothes and I don't know I just wouldn't want it even though I do wash it I don't know but I might end up putting them in the garage already because como que estorban aquí. Um, they're just so heavy so I would need Sergio to help me out with them because they have like some of Sergio's like college books and stuff like that and they're so big and heavy so and we'll see how it works out uh, let me know how you guys like it I do um I still am looking for my backdrops but for now we're just gonna do a white background because I cannot find my um, like the stand for my backdrops so I took a little break from filming just to feed her because como que the lights were really hot in her face and se acaloró bien mucho but I before I forget you guys I wanted to do like a little breastfeeding update because I know that a lot of you guys are always asking me what is your breastfeeding routine i really don't have one that's the reason why i haven't made a whole video about it because literally i don't have a routine what i do i'm gonna share with you guys she wakes up for her first feeding at 6 a.m i will feed her on one side of the boob and the other side i will pump out and the left side that i pump is six ounces so every day i pump six ounces and whatever is left from the right boob and then i continue on my day every two to three hours she does eat so i would just feed her on demand and late at night is when i actually fit in another pumping session so basically i will get another six ounces out of me and i will save it in the fridge and that's it what do i drink for my to keep up with my supply so what i drink and what i have been drinking and i was so like skeptical about this but i follow a lot of on facebook i follow a lot of lactation groups so i do have a lot of advice and i do see that a lot of people you know what they post and stuff like that and um people were recommending to drink the coconut water and they were also also recommending the body armor something like that body armor is that what the name is but I didn't want to try that because it has a lot of sugar you guys and I'm not with that so I was down to try the coconut milk coconut water because it's more natural and it does have sugar but it's natural sugar so yeah so I didn't end up trying the body armor drinks but I heard that those increase your supply too um also every single day i do make myself a oatmeal shake if i'm not eating oatmeal uh i eat about one fourth of a cup and that's enough for for me to keep up my supply and i do drink it every single day i do notice that when i don't drink oatmeal um that my supply does drop a little bit it's like by one ounce so i'm guessing it does help and that's it you guys i literally have no freaking 
um, what is it called, routine. And I'm pretty sure it's hard to keep a routine because you really don't know when your baby's going to be hungry. You have an idea. Right now, for example, she's eating. And if I only knew that she was going to be hungry right now, I would have probably scheduled it and waited till she ate. But like I said, it's very on demand. You really don't know when they're going to be hungry. So, yeah. Also, wanted to mention something. So, I, I am planning on exclusively pumping. I am exclusively exclusively breastfeeding right now well not exclusively because um i actually pump too but it's only breast milk um so i am thinking of only pumping now because i like i said it's very time consuming and i wanted to just feel myself again a little bit more because this takes up a lot of time and I wanted to feel nice again. I want to start looking cute and I want to start just feeling like myself again. So um, I need time and I feel like that's the best way for her to still, you know, be getting my milk um, and just me giving it to her in the bottle. But we'll see how that works out. I still have not even, I am, right now what I'm doing is I am trying to like build up my stash again because last week that we went to Van der Mesa concert she actually ate so much I don't know how this happened but she ended up eating all the stash that I had so my mom said that she was really hungry like I literally had like 10 um, baggies and well the next day too I gave her breast milk um, she finished it within the night till the next day till like about 5 p.m. is when I finished um, so like for 24 hours she finished literally my entire stash and i only i guess i only had a little bit i guess i only had like about 10 baggies stocked up but i don't know that i'm so surprised that she ate so much but i guess um now i have to rebuild my stash and after i have a little bit then i am planning on doing the pumping but i i was i was already doing it yesterday except that i didn't have any uh, any like any backup and i was like what if i have to go to the store or something what am i gonna give her like i was basically pumping it out and then just giving it to her and i was like i don't think this i don't think this is gonna work so i think that i'm gonna wait until probably monday and then start and then i'll keep you guys updated on how that goes that's my little breastfeeding routine it's hard but you guys keep up with your calories i know you guys are like how do you lose weight and still keep up i don't know how that's happening i mean i just i don't really stress about my my supply i just kind of like let it be and i do drink like for example coconut milk or oatmeal you know i do whatever i don't go crazy like i don't buy all these pills and stuff because um, it hasn't got to the point where it's like drying up that much um but i do try to keep up with it you know as much as i can by eating oatmeal and drinking coconut water and also i do drink about more than a gallon a day because i have a little gallon thingy that keeps track and i do drink about like a gallon and a fourth of a gallon a day so that's probably really important too so yeah you guys uh let me continue on with my other video she fell asleep already and yeah so Nathan got a free helmet at school and he wants me to take him on a bike ride so we're gonna walk around the complex So we came to Sam's Club to get, um, mostly we came to get Nathan's school snacks for his lunch. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get that and then probably just leave because somos peligro. Nosotros agarramos de más and then we end up spending like $500. So we have to get what we came for and then leave. Coconut oil? We have some, no? Yeah. yeah, okay, let's go get this. 
the the ese consome si sí. you guys look at how much it is right here and at the store it's like seven dollars <laughs> So I'm getting the turkey here just because Nathan eats turkey almost every day for school. And I eat it with my huevitos in the morning. And then I ended up getting some coconut water. They're 13 bucks for 10. Is it? So there's this cheese that we found a long time ago that we tried. Um, they were giving samples of it, but we never found out which one it was. I think it's this one. It's a powder cheese. Yeah, it's this one I'm crossing. Okay, let's try it. We're gonna eat some quesadillas right now. We're gonna hold it. All right. Let's see. Hopefully. No le traje suetera bella. She's probably gonna get cold. So I heard that these are really, really good for your supply too. But they just have a lot of um, sugar. Oh, look at it. I think it's because. They have coconut water, but they just have extra sugar. It has 18 grams of sugar, so no thank you, not today. But you can find them at Winkle. Yeah. Okay guys, so we actually just got back from, well no, we got back from the gym like three hours ago, but we're about to go to sleep. Before we do, I. I did want to announce the giveaway so um, I did tell you guys that once I hit 38k that I was gonna do a giveaway and I have decided that I was gonna the giveaway is gonna be $50 cash um, we're through gonna PayPal send it or cash app? through PayPal or cash app um, and a $50, $50 gift card to classy lady so if you are a male and you do win you can always give that store credit to somebody your mom your sister your girlfriend um but yeah so basically the rules are very simple you guys all you have to do is take a picture of a video that you're watching of mine or a picture of my channel and repost it onto your instagram story and make sure you tag my instagram so in order to participate you will have to have an you will need to have an Instagram account. So just make sure to repost me and repost as many times as you would like. And yeah, I'll be announcing the winner on... I'll be announcing it on my Instagram on... I'll be announcing the winner on Friday on my Instagram. So be sure to uh, follow me and turn on your post notifications. So, okay guys. So today's post notification shout out goes to... Itsy Olivia's no Itsy Olivas. Thank you so much girl for commenting on my video and for keeping up with me And if you guys would like a shout out all you have to do is of course be subscribed to my channel turn on your post notifications Like this video and leave a comment down below and and also guys don't forget to enter the giveaway And yeah, I think I'll just talk to you guys in the next video. Bye <laughs> Más de